UK scientists using IVF method to save northern white rhino. With less than a handful of northern white rhinos left on Earth, a team of UK scientists at a British zoo will try to save the species using a procedure never previously attempted. The three remaining northern white rhinos are under round-the-clock protection at a conservation site in Kenya. There are two females and one elderly male. Due to fertility issues, the females are unable to conceive offspring naturally. As an alternative, sperm will be extracted from the male and eggs from the females. Using the in vitro fertilization method, any fertilized eggs will be implanted in a group of female southern white rhinos, a closely related subspecies, to be brought to term. If this proves unsuccessful, scientists will combine the northern white rhino's sperm with the eggs of the southern white rhinos in the hope a crossbred embryo will result. In advance of experimenting with northern white rhino samples, the IVF technique will first be tested using southern white rhino sperm and eggs. Creating an embryo outside a rhino has never been done before. If the scientists in England are able to pull this off, it would theoretically mark the first step to reviving the species from the very brink of extinction. The northern white rhino population has been decimated in recent years due to hunting and poaching for its horns. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Come on, help save the rhinos. They do it for you. Poachers sneak into zoo and saw off white rhino's horn. A young male white rhino at a zoo just outside of Paris suffered a gruesome death in a place where he was thought to be safe. The night of March 6th, poachers broke into the Thory Zoo through the rear entrance and made their way to the white rhino enclosure. There, they found four-year-old Vince, who had arrived at the zoo from the Netherlands in 2015. Without wasting any time, they put three bullets in Vince's head, slaying the massive animal. The poachers then used a chainsaw to saw off Vince's horn, which is potentially worth up to $60,000 on the black market. The poachers began to hack off the dead rhino's second horn, but didn't finish the job, either due to mechanical failure or a disturbance of some kind. The two other white rhinos at the zoo, 37-year-old Gracie and 5-year-old Bruno, managed to escape the same bloody fate. This is believed to be the first time a rhino has been attacked and killed at a zoo in Europe. Rhino horns are coveted for traditional Asian medicines as they are said to act as an aphrodisiac. There are only an estimated 21,000 white rhinos remaining on Earth. Czech Zoo removes rhinos' horns. A zoo in the Czech Republic will dehorn its rhinos to protect the animals from poachers. The drastic move comes in response to a brutal attack at a French zoo last week when poachers killed a white rhino, then tried to hack its horn off with a chainsaw. The zoo in the Central Czech Republic said it will first administer an anesthetic before cutting the horns of its 18 adult rhinos. With the rhino's eyes and ears covered, a chainsaw will cut horizontally into the horn to remove it. Rhino horn is made of a fibrous protein called keratin, the same substance humans produce in our nails and hair. When the horns are removed, the zoo will file the sharp edges to smooth them down. Last week, poachers killed Vince the White Rhino at a zoo near Paris, but failed to get away with his horn. Rhino horn sells for around $60,000 per kilo on the black market, making it more expensive than gold or cocaine. Most of the demand comes from China and Vietnam, where rhino horn is prized for its supposed, but completely unproven, value as an aphrodisiac and ingredient in traditional medicine. A record number of rhinos were slaughtered in 2015. The number of rhinos poached in Africa increased for the sixth year in a row, with more than 1,300 killed, the greatest loss in a single year. Wildlife trafficking is the world's fourth largest illegal trade, after drugs, counterfeiting, and human trafficking. In 2015, at least 1,338 rhinos across Africa were killed by poachers for their horns. The illegal trade is fueled by a high demand in China and Vietnam, where the horns are prized for their purported medicinal properties. Sold for about $60,000 a kilo on the black market, rhino horns are more expensive than cocaine and worth more in weight than gold or diamonds. The loss has come despite a dedicated conservation effort to combat the slaughter using drones, satellites, radios, and other technology. Experts found that decreasing poaching in one area only led to further poaching elsewhere. So while the number of slaughtered rhinos decreased in South Africa, they quadrupled in Namibia and doubled in Zimbabwe. 
Rhino poaching is a global concern, affecting not only Africa, but smaller rhino populations in Asia as well. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Texas douche who paid $350,000 finally kills his black rhino. Last year, rich Texan douchebag come hunter Corey Knowlton bid $350,000 for a permit to kill an endangered black rhino in Namibia. The hunt, if you can call it that, is now over, and thank God CNN sold out enough to document this rich man's wet dream. Knowlton won the permit, which was issued by Namibia's Ministry of Environment and Tourism in auction by the Dallas Safari Club in 2014. Since then, Knowlton has faced global criticism as well as death threats, of which he completely ignores, like a true murk. Knowlton and the Namibian government claim it's okay to kill the endangered animal because it's an older bull that can no longer get it up. The Namibian government also had to hire a real hunter, Pentai Van Heerden, to guide Knowlton on his highly scrutinized hunt and to finish off the job when Knowlton couldn't kill it himself. Well, the world now has one less endangered black rhino, and unfortunately, way too many rich douchebags still roaming free. Knowlton's $350,000 will ironically go to fund Namibia's anti-poaching efforts across the country. Hopefully, the Namibian government can find a good use for the money.